Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Marchinsky and Praten. This game was played in England in 1948. White started with e4. e5. Marchinsky played knight to f3, attacking the pawn on e5, and Praten played knight to c6, defending the pawn. Bishop to c4, and we have Italian opening. Bishop to c5 c3, the most ambitious continuation by white. d3 is a quiet option. We have c3. White is preparing d4. Queen to e7. And white casts at king's side. d6. d4. Bishop to b6. b4. And black played bishop to g4, pinning the knight. a4, threatening a5. So black played a5 himself. b5, attacking the knight. How should black continue? Knight to a7, knight to b8, or knight to d8? It is not the same. What would you do? Knight to d8 is the best move. Without much explaining, you will see very soon why. Okay, we have bishop to a3, pinning the pawn. Pawn takes pawn is on the menu, so black played f6. Rook to a2, knight to e6, and the black knight is back in the game. d takes on e5, f takes on e5. Queen to d5, threatening queen takes pawn on b7. What would you do if you had black pieces? I guess rook to b8 comes to mind. Pratten captured the knight on f3 with bishop. Now queen takes pawn on b7, attacking the rook. It is black to move. What would you do? If you wish, you can pause the video. What did you find? Want to see my guess? This is my guess. Rook to d8. Looks safe, but this is not the move played in the game. Black played more ambitiously. Queen to g5, threatening checkmate. There is a tiny problem. White takes rook with check. King to e7 was played g3, knight to f4, threatening knight to h3, checkmate, rook to e1, making the room for the king to escape, queen to h5, obviously black queen would like to go to h3 and then to g2, checkmate, knight to d2, White horse arrived on the scene threatening to murder the cardinal and to save the day for white king. What now? What would you do if you had black pieces? There is only one good continuation for black. Black played knight f6, developing the knight at the cost of a second rook. Queen takes rook. White is better materially. And it would be good if he manages to defend his king now. We have reached the most interesting position of the game. This is the position that Praten, that is, player with black pieces, was going for. What was his idea when he sacrificed all this material? Please pause the video and try to find the best move for black. Ready? What did you find? In the game we have kaboom! Queen sacrifice. Well, this looks crazy, doesn't it? <laughs> but this leads to force checkmate. Black has done his calculation well. 
Okay, we have king takes queen, knight to g4 check, king to g1, knight to h3 check, king to f1, and there is checkmate in one, knight to h2, checkmate. Awesome, fantastic, isn't it? How many moves did you guess? And did you see the killer move? The killer move was in this position. Queen takes pawn on h2. Brilliant game by Pratten. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt. And bye for now.